Biodiversity means all the different kinds of life you can find in one area and how they interact with each other, from plants to people. It leads to the food, medicine, water and oxygen that we need. Biodiversity loss is one of the biggest threats our home planet faces. Over a million species are currently at risk of extinction due to things like habitat destruction, climate change, pollution and overexploitation. So how can we help? Insects play an extremely important role in helping our spaces to remain biodiverse. There are an estimated 2,000 different species of insect in our gardens. It's good to have them around because they are pollinators, they help plants reproduce, they help create compost, eat pests, and other large animals eat them. You can help create a biodiverse space by making your own bug hotel, and for that we'll need plastic bottles. Get yourself a clean plastic bottle, and then go out and collect some things from your garden or park, like pine cones, twigs and sticks, hollow tubes are great for solitary bees. Did you know there are over 20,000 different species of bee? Cut your bottle in half and make sure the edges are smooth. Get an adult to help you with this. Stuff your bottle with the things you found. I found lots of sticks. Break them up so they fit in your bottle. The different things you collected might attract different insects. Now find a warm, dry place for your bug hotel to go. You could tie some string or wire to it and hang it from a tree. Make sure to keep checking in on your bug hotel to see if you've got any guests and to make sure it's up to scratch for visitors. So that's how we can do our bit in our own space. But did you know our friends at Kew Gardens have over 350 scientists working globally to protect biodiversity? At Kew we're trying to help pollinators through our research and we have an approach where we combine lab work, where we are analysing the pollen and nectar chemistry of UK plants that are important for pollinators to understand which plants are nutritious for pollinators, but also which plants might have medicinal benefits for pollinators against their diseases. But we are also going into the field now, so this year we started the landscape ecology program at Wakehurst, where we're trying to study in meadows in uh, southern England which plant species are really important to support pollinator diversity and how we can uh, better uh, improve the landscapes uh, for pollinators in the UK. They are also home to the largest plant conservation programme in the world, with scientists working to conserve the world's plants for the future. The Millennium Seed Bank hides an underground collection of over 2.3 billion seeds from around the world. They're stored in sub-zero chambers in flood, bomb and radiation-proof vaults. The stored seeds can reintroduce plants back into the wild, or use them for scientific research and finding our future food and medicines. So that's how the experts are helping biodiversity loss and helping our planet. We'd love to see your book hotels and what you're doing to help biodiversity.